Welcome back, Flare community. I hope everyone's doing well. And today, this is just going to be an informal catch up on some of this week's news. So first and foremost, I want to bring your attention to this tweet here. Now, if you're not following me on Twitter, please be sure to, because this is where I announce the majority of the breaking information. This is simply just a thought that I had very recently. So most Ethereum decentralized exchanges or DEXs only trade ERC20 tokens, meaning you're sort of contained in that one ecosystem of Ethereum. What Flare Finance is bringing to the table with Flare X can almost be seen as a cross-chain decentralized exchange as F assets on the Flare network are redeemable at any time for their originating asset. So that means that you're going to be able to interchange all of these F assets, whether that's XRP, Litecoin, Dogecoin, or XLM with each other, all at the cost of the transaction fees of the Flare network, which we already know to be extremely cheap and extremely fast. FlareX is going to be an absolute game changer. It's going to bring a new breed of decentralized exchanges and set the new standard. So this is something which I'm extremely excited about. Moving on, we have some more tweets, a series of tweets in fact, from the Flare Finance official Twitter account. Now, it seems that with their suite of products, they're going to be integrating much more than just F assets. In this tweet, they say, let's start at meme coins and see which community has the most engagement. Vote for your favorite meme coin and it will be listed on FlareX, Flare Farm and Flare Wrap upon launch. So this is just expanding the reach of the decentralized network into much more than just F assets. The wrap feature on Flare Finance will allow you to wrap tokens from different networks and to be able to use them on the Flare network. It is extremely exciting, but what's even more exciting is the fact that they're not just starting with meme coins. In this next tweet, they are asking for your favorite Binance Smart Chain assets, and they will also list this on FlareX, Flare Farm, and Flare Wrap. The winner will be announced on Monday. Just think of the additional utility this will bring to the network. Finally, in their third polling round, they want to vote for your favorite Ethereum network asset, and will list it on again FlareX, Flare Farm, and Flare Wrap. So Monday we have some big news coming and I just thought I would share this with you, especially for those who are not already on Twitter. Now before we round off today's video, I would like to bring you to a flowchart which I recently created. I've had so many questions regarding the claim process and I hope that this flowchart is easy and simple to understand. So let's jump into it. First and foremost, we start here. Was you holding XRP at the time of the Flare Network snapshot? If you was not, then no matter what, you cannot claim Spark. If you was holding XRP at the time of the snapshot, where did you hold it? If you held it in an exchange, was the exchange supporting the Flare Network airdrop? If it was not, I'm very sorry again, you cannot claim Spark. Now, if the exchange was supporting the airdrop, was it the Binance US exchange? Now, the Binance US exchange is the only exchange where you have to do this, okay? So, if you was holding on the Binance US exchange and not the regular Binance, you will have to fill out a form sent to you by email. Otherwise, any other exchange that was participating in the Spark airdrop will claim on your behalf and you will receive the Spark tokens when they are created, which is when the Flare Network launches. So please be patient, they will arrive in the next month or so. Now let's check out the people that were holding XRP at the time of the Flare Network snapshot, the 12th of the 12th, 2020, in a self-custody wallet. Now, 
Is your wallet able to connect with the XRP toolkit, which is an interface which you can go through the claim process? If it is not, then you may have to export your key or passphrase. Upon doing that, you will be able to download and import your account to the ZUM wallet. And as the ZUM wallet is able to connect to the XRP toolkit, you can then go through the claim process. Now, I will also be leaving some links down below which you can use to claim. And the claim process is not very far away, so I would highly recommend looking into this as soon as possible. Now, before we jump off of this tweet, I'd like to go through some of the commonly asked questions. Let's jump into this first one. How can I verify that my Spark claim was successful? You guys can head over to xrpscan.com and enter your XRP address in the top right. And if your message key is set to your Ethereum address, then you are good to go. And this is why you should enter your XRP address right here. Question two, when will I receive my Spark? I get this question asked multiple times every day. So I'm just gonna quickly run through this thread. For those of you who are asking why you have not received your Spark, I'm going to tell you a short story. You cannot receive something until it exists. You will receive Spark when they are created, which is when the Flare Network launches. And if you're wondering when the Flare Network launches, here is the latest information. The truth is, nobody knows the specific date, but what we do have is an estimate of June, July. And this comes from the Flare Network official account, which says the Spark distribution will start when the Flare Network goes live. The team is working to make this happen safely and as soon as possible. It is dependent on finishing security testing. We expect this to be done at the end of June, plus or minus two to four weeks. So this is the latest estimate. And I want to highlight the word estimate, so let's continue. When you build a house, you do not know when it will be finished. There are many tasks to complete, lots of variables which could affect the deadline. This is why you have an estimate, a prediction of when you think the work will be completed. The same applies to software development. You break down a project into granular tasks and estimate how long each task will take. These tasks may have dependencies on one another, meaning you can't start one until another is complete. The aggregate duration of tasks which represent the critical path can be seen as how long the project is estimated to take. It's impossible to give a specific date with so many variables at play. What we do know is the Flare Network is expected to launch in June slash July. As more tasks are completed, the estimate becomes clearer and more accurate as there is less work to be done. With that being said, all we can do is wait. In the meantime, sharpen your sword and level up your knowledge. Most of all, be patient. Now let's jump back to the original thread. Question three, I no longer have access to the exchange which I held XRP on at the time of the snapshot. What should I do? You will need to contact the exchange. The Spark will go to the XRP account which you held at the time of the snapshot. So this will be the exchange. This is something that you're gonna have to resolve personally with them. Question four, where will I receive my Spark? You will receive Spark in your Flare wallet not your Ethereum wallet. Don't worry, it is yet to be created. It will be accessible with the same credentials you use to access your Ethereum account, which you linked. So basically, when the Flare Network launches and the wallets are created, each wallet will imitate the Ethereum account which you've linked to your XRP address. They will have the same address and they will be accessible with the same credentials, whether that's a 24 word secret phrase or a private key. Question five, when is the deadline for claiming? The deadline is the 11th of June, so please don't delay. What if I held Spark on Binance US? I've got a link to the form which you need to fill in here. What about the Exodus wallet? 
I've also attached another link which explains the process if you held XRP on an Exodus wallet. The penultimate tweet, what about claiming on a ledger? Well, I've actually already made a video on this, walking through the full process, which I will link above. And last but not least, can I move my XRP off an exchange and claim there? <laughs> to put it bluntly, no. Spark will be distributed to the wallet which you held XRP on at the time of the snapshot. If you held XRP on an exchange, it will go to their wallet. If you held in self-custody, meaning your own wallet, it will go there. Very simple. Now I hope this clears some things up. Now before we wrap things up today, um, I want to you to know that the Flare Network account has had a bit of a facelift. Now. I think it looks great and for those of you who are yet to go through this site I will link it below and it also gives you a lot of information about the blogs in this blog section is where I initially got the majority of my information to create the videos in addition to the white papers so you can check all of that on this website right here uh, which I will definitely link below so with that being said guys like I said it's just a a general catch up today um, enjoy your weekend the sun is absolutely shining here in England which is a very rare treat so I'm gonna get myself outside enjoy your weekend and until next time I'm out